good day to you mate. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. Enjoy the video. In this video we will discuss about life buoyer lifering. What is life buoyer lifering? A life buoy or life ring is a life-saving buoy designed to be thrown to a person in the water to provide buoyancy and prevent drowning. What is the requirements for life buoy? As per Sola's Regulation Chapter 3 for Personal Life-Saving Appliances. We can see the requirements for life buoys in Sola's Regulation Chapter 3, Part B, Regulation 7. Paragraph 1.1.1, life buoys complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.1 of the code shall be so distributed as to be readily available on both sides of the ship, and as far as practicable on all open decks extending to the ship's side, at least one shall be placed in the vicinity of the stern, and so stowed as to be capable of being rapidly cast loose and not permanently secured in any way. It mentions about complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.1 of the code. What does it mean? Sola's regulation chapter 3 is about life-saving appliances and arrangements. So, the code it mentions refers to LSA code. Let's open and check what are the requirements of life buoy in LSA code. Paragraph 2.1.1 of LSA code is life buoy specification, and it says that every life buoy shall have an outer diameter of not more than 800 millimeters and an inner diameter of not less than 400 millimeters. Be constructed of inherently buoyant material. It shall not depend upon rushes, cork shavings or granulated cork any other loose granulated material or any air compartment which depends on inflation for buoyancy. Be capable of supporting not less than 14.5 kilograms of iron in fresh water for a period of 24 hours. Have a mass of not less than 2.5 kilograms. Not sustain burning or continue melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of 2 seconds. Be constructed to withstand a drop into the water from the height at which it is stowed above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition or 30 meters, whichever is the greater, without impairing either its operating capability or that of its attached components. If it is intended to operate the quick-release arrangement provided for the self-activated smoke signals and self-igniting lights, have a mass of not less than 4 kilograms. This are usually located in bridge wings. Be fitted with a grab line not less than 9.5 mm in diameter, and not less than 4 times the outside diameter of the body of the buoy in length. The grab line shall be secured at 4 equidistant points around the circumference of the buoy to form 4 equal loops. So that's all for paragraph 2.1.1 of LSA Code Life Buoy Specification, and let's go back to Sola's Regulation Chapter 3. Let's now proceed to paragraph 1.1.2, and it says that at least one life buoy on each side of the ship shall be fitted with a buoyant lifeline complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.4 of the code equal in length to not less than twice the height at which it is stowed above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition, or 30 meters, whichever is the greater. It mentions about complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.4 of the code. So, let's open again and check what are the requirements in LSA code. Paragraph 2.1.4 of LSA code is buoyant lifelines, and it says that buoyant lifelines shall be non-kinking, have a diameter of not less than 8 mm, and have a braking strength of not less than 5 kN. So that's all for paragraph 2.1.4 of LSA code buoyant lifelines. And let's go back to Sola's Regulation Chapter 3 of Sola's Regulation. 
Let's now proceed to paragraph 1.1.3, and it says that not less than one half of the total number of life buoys shall be provided with life buoy self-igniting lights, complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.2 of the code. Not less than two of these shall also be provided with life buoy self-activating smoke signals complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.3 of the code and be capable of quick release from the navigation bridge. Life buoys with lights and those with lights and smoke signals shall be equally distributed on both sides of the ship, and shall not be the life buoys provided with lifelines in compliance with the requirements of paragraph 1.1.2. It mentions about complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.2 and 2.1.3 of the code. So, let's open again and check what are the requirements in LSA code. Paragraph 2.1.2 of LSA code is life buoy self-igniting lights, and paragraph 2.1.3 of LSA code is life buoy self-activating smoke signals. Let's start with paragraph 2.1.2 of LSA code life buoy self-igniting lights. Self-igniting lights shall be such that they cannot be extinguished by water be of white color and capable of either burning continuously with a luminous intensity of not less than two candelas in all directions of the upper hemisphere. Or flashing, discharge flashing, at a rate of not less than 50 flashes, and not more than 70 flashes per minute with at least the corresponding effective luminous intensity. Be provided with a source of energy that will last for a period of at least two hours be capable of withstanding the drop test. That's all for paragraph 2.1.2 LSA code, and let's discuss paragraph 2.1.3 of LSA code, which is live buoy self-activating smoke signals. Self-activating smoke signal shall emit smoke of a highly visible color at a uniform rate for a period of at least 15 minutes when floating in calm water. Not ignite explosively, or emit any flame during the entire smoke emission time of the signal. Not be swamped in a seaway. Continue to emit smoke when fully submerged in water for a period of at least 10 seconds. Be capable of withstanding the drop test, and be provided with a quick release arrangement that will automatically release and activate the signal and associated self-igniting light connected to a life buoy, having a mass of not more than 4 kilograms. That's all for paragraph 2.1.3 of LSA code, and let's go back to chapter 3 of SOLA's regulation. Let's now proceed to paragraph 1.1.4 and it says each life buoy shall be marked in block capitals of the Roman alphabet, with the name and port of registry of the ship on which it is carried. That's all for paragraph 1.1.4 of Sola's chapter 3. Okay mate. It's all done about life buoy and its requirements in Sola's regulation and LSA code. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like the video and gives you information about life buoy or lifering. Thank you for watching mate and if you like the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell button to keep updated in my upcoming videos.